I sit back and wonder, what the hell did I get involved with? The relationship I was involved with. It all started when I met this guy. I was in high school, 10th grade. We talked, we hung out at break, lunchtime, and we worked on projects together. I remember all the hugs you gave me. I remember all the video games you talked about, from GTA to Call of Duty to Assassin's Creed. I remember the day you asked me out. It was March 23rd, 2015. We were standing out in the lobby, waiting for the bell to ring, when school ended. You came up to me and asked if I wanted to go out with you. I said yes. I remember my heart was beating so fast. It all happened so fast. But as time went on into the relationship, you found yourself smacking my butt and kissing me in front of people in school just to embarrass me, even though there were rules about PDA. You would freaking pin me to the wall as students walked by and kiss me. I remember crying after that because I was so fucking embarrassed. As months went on into the relationship, you told me something. Something I still won't forget. You told me you had a fetish. I didn't know what to think at first, but at least I respected you for it. But let's say about 2017, like after we graduated high school, you took your fetish to a whole new level that made me very uneasy, very uncomfortable. I didn't want it, but you did. You didn't get my body language. You knew I was crying. You knew I was in pain. I tried begging you to stop, but all you did was like give me this death stare and you would smack my mouth and tell me to be quiet. You didn't care how I felt. Yet you were trying to be all sweet and comforting while you had your hand on my neck and literally had my face into your pillow as I was gasping for air. What the hell? After our little fun time, you didn't provide any aftercare. You went on your Xbox and started playing games with your friends while I, while I was sitting on your bed, curled up in a ball, shaking and crying. After I went home after hanging out with you, I would have a massive breakdown in my room. I would put headphones on and listen to sad songs just to let out my tears and pain. It wasn't right. That's not how you treat a woman. <sighs> About years later, say 2020, when I first started working, from the town hall, to my coffee shop job, now to my current office job, you expected but nothing but taking money from me. Whether it was Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, D&D books, Xbox cash, Amazon, etc. You just expected a lot and you didn't care about my feelings or my money. Whenever I tried to explain to you that I need to save money, you would bitch and say that I have a lot of money, so what's to bitch about? No matter how much excuse I wanted to make, I felt like I was pressured into buying you something, which hurt me even more. I still won't forget what you did back at Christmas time. It was the holiday season of 2021. I remember I was talking to your mom about this. I remember I asked her if I can get you a Nintendo Switch. Your mom smiled and said yes. I remember the day I got you the Switch. You were so happy. I was happy too. But what really broke my heart was that you didn't give me anything. Not a single gift. Why? How could you do that to me? You bought your mom a gift, your two friends a gift, but not your own girlfriend. I should have left you right then, but then you said you were going to make it up to me. I thought to myself, okay. But when Valentine's Day rolled around, you didn't make it up to me. You lied to me. I even asked if you were going to make it up to me, and you smacked my mouth once again. 
As March, as the month of March rolled around, I knew that our seven years was coming up. But because of your enforcement controlling attitude, and let's say taking $700 out of me for $700 Amazon gift card crossed the line, big time. It was March 12, 2022. I remember it was a Saturday. I went out. I remember we went out to a store. And you demanded me to get a $700 Amazon gift card. Like I said, I didn't want to. But you wanted it. You could never take no for an answer. After we left the store, you took me to a fast food restaurant. I remember sitting in the restaurant in tears because I was hurting. You had some nerve to wipe my tears as if you quote unquote cared. No. After all, after all that you did, no. I even told my best friend what happened. She was just as shocked as I was. After that, we went back to your house. That was when I stood my guard and yelled at you. Then I straight up saying, we're done. Then I left. That was it. That was the end of the relationship. I didn't know what to think then, but I st and I still don't know what to think now. All I can say is I was in a pretty bad relationship. But I'm glad I'm out of it. I'm glad you're not in my life anymore. To those out there that are listening to this, I really hope you don't end up in the same experience as I did. I didn't deserve any of that. I didn't deserve to be taken advantage of. I didn't deserve to be treated like a fetish. I deserved real love. I deserved respect. I deserve happiness. To close this off, I'm leaving you all with a quote. Being alone may scare you, but staying in a bad relationship will damage you.